Here, we've got a big, long, messy equation, and we need to solve it for x. So how do we approach this thing? Well, a step at a time. And the first step, if you've got parentheses that you need to distribute, you should do that. And here, we've got two sets of those. So I've got a negative 3 out here that needs to be distributed through the parentheses, and a 2 over here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Negative 3 times a negative 4x is a positive 12x. And negative 3 times 2 is minus 6. And then we've got our minus 3x. And then over here, 2 times x is 2x. 2 times a negative 2 is negative 4 and a negative 8. All right, we've done the distribution. The next step is to combine our like terms on, on each side of the equal sign. So over here, I've got 12x and negative 3x. 12 minus 3, that's 9x. And there's no other number on this side of the equal sign, so the negative 6 just stays like it is. Here, the 2x is the only x term, so we'll put 2x. And then negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. All right, we've combined our like terms. The next issue is that we have x terms on both sides of the equation. So we need to get rid of one of them. I think I'm going to get rid of this 2x over here by subtracting 2x. So over here, 2x minus 2x is 0. So we just get negative 12 on the right side of the equation. Here, 9x minus 2x is 7x. And then we have our minus 6. Now I need to get the x term alone. So I'll get rid of this negative 6 by adding 6. And I get 7x equals negative 6. And then finally, divide by 7. We get x alone. x equals negative 6 sevenths.